Residents in Millersville say they want several of their city council members out. A group filed an ethics complaint against the city officials on Tuesday in reference to the recent troubles facing the city. One council member says he understands and hopes a resolution comes soon. We ask that they resign. Melba Burrell says she has no plans on stopping. She and several other residents filed an ethics complaint at a Milledgeville work session this week. We would hope that they would operate within the confines of the ethics and they can either send an ethics board, they can censure them or ask them to resign. The complaint points out an alleged illegal meeting involving council members that violates the state's open meetings law. During the meeting in question, city officials were said to have conspired to move millions of dollars from one bank to another after the bank's owner wrote a column in the Millersville paper criticizing local leaders. The ethics complaint includes all but one city council member, Walter Reynolds. He was the whistleblower. Reynolds was the only council member I was able to reach by phone and says he understands the citizens' concerns. We were called in to see what sort of action we wanted to take and no action was taken at that time and I, I think that the citizens of this community are just not satisfied with their council doing nothing in light of, uh, in light of this situation. The complaint also points out city manager Barry Jarrett and city attorney Jimmy Jordan. We would like to see uh, our city move forward. It's all right to have problems. Everybody has problems, but you have to do something about it. You have to fix it. You just can't ignore it and expect it to go away. The process is a long one, but Burrell says she's prepared. An ethics complaint has to go from the city manager to the board of ethics. From there, the board will make a recommendation to council. What hope do we really have that they'll be fair with the charges that are being brought against them? Burrell is planning on meeting with a group tomorrow to strategize and potential legal action if council chooses to dismiss the complaint.